Hello, Algebra 1. This is homework help for, um, your, for your homework this evening. It's page 599, numbers 12 through 23 of your textbook. Um, I'm going to help you out with the very first problem first. It says number 12 says x squared plus 7x plus 12. And it says choose the correct factorization. Is it A or B? Now, since they've given you the A and the B, you can go ahead and do your best to find out which P and Q works best, or you could go ahead and factor it yourself. Uh, I'm going to go over the factor it yourself method. Keep in mind that P times Q, in this case, is going to be 12. And the reason we know that is P times Q is this value over here of our trinomial. Now you need to come up with the different factors that get you a positive 12. And keep in mind, we do have a positive, positive situation here. That means my final answer is going to be x plus x plus. The only way to get a positive 12 is to multiply two positive numbers or two negative numbers. If they were both negative, then your b term, that's this one right here, would have been negative. But since they're both positive, then that b term is going to be positive. So let's take a look at 12. There's a couple of different ways to get there. There's, uh, there's 1 times 12, there's 2 times 6, and there's 3 times 4. Think about those factors. Come up with all the different ways to add those together. So 1 plus 12 gives me 13. That's way too big. 2 plus 6 gives me 8. That's also too large. 3 plus 4 gives me 7. So 13 doesn't work, 8 work doesn't work, but 7 does. That means P and Q are equal to positive 3 and positive 4. That looks like uh, that answer is B, x plus 4 times x plus 3. Remember the commutative property says it doesn't matter which one comes first. Go ahead and pause the video if you're still copying that down. I do want to go over another problem with you so this video will proceed. So I'm going to go over problem number, f um, let's take a look here. What's one more that's more difficult? Let's take a look at problem number 19. That looks like that might be a little hard for some people. It says r squared plus 8r plus 16. The only reason it's more difficult is your p times q value is much larger. Again, you have that positive, positive situation. So my answer is going to be r plus times r plus just like I talked about in the previous example. Um, I have 1 times 16, 2 times 8. 3 doesn't work, but 4 does, 4 times 4. Now you know your p plus q needs to equal 8. Again, just want to highlight this is where this comes from. p times q is 16, and p plus q is going to be that coefficient, coefficient of b. Okay, so we go ahead and add those together. If I have 1 plus 16, um, that doesn't work. Too big. I have 2 plus 8, that gives me 10. That doesn't work. It's too big. Last but not least, I have 4 plus 4, that gives me 8. That definitely works. So it's going to be a positive 4 times a positive 4. Another way to write that is r plus 4 squared. So that would be your final answer for problem number 19.